case tag. That's what I need here. Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Hey, watch it, or I'll call security. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten? Her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage? For the fans? If you can get me some help out there so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work. But you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. <laughs> I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now where was I? trunk tag for this guy. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy.
take the stage, flower girls, in position one. And action! Tonight, I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress. In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! Without her muse, her inner sunshine, the spirit of her youth, played tonight once again by Bonita Soleil. Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me. Not again. <gasps> the Phantom. I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace! And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets. Total chaos. Or worse. Improv. So whatever you do, don't mess with the manual mood override unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling you. School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. Wahaha! -ha! But I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. Oh, <laughs> There is nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art.
get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah! Can't get there from here! <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what have I said? That's almost impossible! Forget about it! The theater is doomed! Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Anita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Bonita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shines on a shoe! She should quit now, or she can still get a job as a nightlight. You hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? I can't stop looking at it. It's like the sight of a horrible car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lives. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protest, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. All right, later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow, thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky, and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out. Ma'am, I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks he hides out in. Sorry, no way up there. Well, there was this one play. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalks and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy? Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just play it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script everybody. Let's practice. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed?
should get a grip. Oh, another script? The day the mailboat finally came? Uh-oh. Prop department, I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Places, everyone. And action. I say, I believe I do see the mail, but approaching. Ah, oh, was never a vessel more beautiful and resplendified. Sorry, no mail for you, ugly girl. Don't worry, 
I'm sure they'll come for you and you'll never have to think of that bad place again, ever. Hey, you're right. I think I see them now. Hello, my dear beloved daughter. We have come back for you. Please come with us and be happy and never think of this terrible, terrible place again. Yeah!